So many of you have been wondering how Brad uses his communication device right here. In today's video, I think it's time we address that, Brad. Yes. So this is Brad's eye tracking device called TD Pilot from Toby Dynabox. The best way to describe it is it's basically an iPad surrounded by a specialized case. Now the eye tracker is located right here at the bottom. And what it does is through infrared technology, it tracks Brad's eye movements and pinpoints exactly where he's looking on the iPad screen. Right. On the back of his device, Brad's got some built-in speakers so he can amplify his voice and even listen to music. Also located on the back of Brad's device is what we call the partner window, which Brad can turn on or off whenever he wants. It's great for face-to-face -face conversations. To navigate the device, Brad uses right. Apple's accessibility feature called Assistive Touch. So he's showing you that menu right here on the screen. So anything that I can do with my fingers, like pinch and zoom, scroll, Brad can do with his eyes with the Assistive Touch menu. Brad uses a feature called Dwell to make his selections. Brad's usual dwell time is 0.6 seconds. This means he has to hold his gaze for roughly half a second when he's looking at a letter on his keyboard or looking at an object while he's navigating his device. Now, since he's using an iPad, Brad has access to all the iOS apps, anything from social media, productivity, and even gaming. Brad can control using his eyes. <laughs> So now Brad's gonna navigate over to his communication app that's called TD Talk. As you guys can see, it's your standard keyboard layout. He's also got some predictive text right up here and that definitely makes typing a whole lot faster. Hey guys. So that's Brad's communication device in a nutshell. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to let us know. Hope that was an eye-opening experience. Give it a high five. <laughs>